Well, hi there. Thought I'd tell you a little bit about the song The Need for Biscuits and in particular how I play it on the guitar. Um, I wrote this song on the piano and then I sort of realised that if I was ever going to do it at gigs I'd have to work out how to play it on the guitar as well um, because I didn't always take a piano to gigs in those days. Pianos are quite big, aren't they? So um, yeah, this is um, The Need for Biscuits. It's in the key of G um, but I'm playing it sort of with an E shape. Um, so I've got a capo on the third fret. So, um, so the introduction um, goes like this. I'll basically explain to you a little bit about how to play it, but mostly if you watch my fingers, um, you'll hopefully realise. So I'm starting with this kind of this kind of shape, which is part of a sort of part of that sort of C shape. Um, I'm just playing these ones and the open string, um, but I'm, I sort of slide into it. So it goes like this. So um, yeah, so we've got this this kind of chord, um, and then the second chord is this one, um, which is basically a kind of D over F sharp chord, um, and then this is kind of a D shape but moved up there, and then just a, a regular A shape, which is a C chord um, in real life with the capo. So that's how that, how that bit goes, um, and then basically the the first kind of verse is, is around that sort of thing, so it goes like this. When I feel the need for biscuits, I'll reach for my biscuit tin. I gently peel back the lid and I reach right in. that it is empty with holy crumbs inside I'll open a new packet but I just can't decide so yes that's vaguely how we how we play that one you've got to be a little bit careful um, with your fretting and so you don't pull any strings out of tune as I occasionally did there um, so yeah, just um, take it nice and careful. Um, yeah, so it's mostly these these chords, um, and then we get to the second half where we get the um, F sharp minor shape, the E over G sharp shape, the A and the B, um, and then we get the A minor seven, and that kind of walks up here. And then we're into the main bit of the song, um, which um, goes like this. There's Garibaldi and fig rolls too. Bourbons are tasty, but not too good for you. But chocolate digestives are the stuff of dreams. But strangely, some prefer the custard creams. So um, mostly there's a few kind of jazzy sort of chords there. That's kind of a nice sort of um, E6 um um, and then we've got this um, sort of C sharp minor seven shape there, which um, up here is a D minor seven, really. Um, F sharp minor seven, and um, that's sort of B nine shape. Um, and then we have the A major seven and the that one, but with the, the bass note one up, which is kind of an an A sharp half diminished or A sharp minor seven flat and fifth um, which um, yeah those are the chord shapes we use and then we have a key change in the in the final verse um, which is, just involves a couple more bars buy myself a packet of ginger nuts so hopefully you can see what my fingers were doing, even if my mouth wasn't making very much sense during that video. And yeah, have a go.